this should be another clean sweep for Jamaica. One, two, three. Um, I'm not too sure because alien kind of shaky. Welcome, Sports Nation, to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views, and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial, and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, your channel of undiluted sports content. Ricky and I are here to talk about the women's 200 meters final. This includes three Jamaicans. The clean sweepers from the 100 meters are back and they're looking to repeat. This would be the first time in Jamaica's history that the same ladies are sweeping the 100 meters and also the 200 meters and of course we're looking extremely um comfortable and confident of the gold medal for sure but this 200 meters is not about the jamaicans alone i'm ricky and i'm going to share my screen to, sh to show you the lineup of the eight ladies who will be participating in this 400 meters running out of lane one munjinga kambunji and she goes into the final having run her season's best in the semi-final of 22 05 to qualify she is the only woman in this eight and in this final was not crack the sub 22 seconds over 200 meters um, this season or over our career. And this might be the first time we're having a 200 meters final with so many fast ladies. In lane two, Elaine Thompson era, who finished, listen this, as one of the non-automatic qualifiers into the finals of having finished third in a season's best 21.97. This is far outside of her personal best at, at 21.53, which made her at the time the second fastest woman over 200 meters. Dina Asher Smith, who is the defending champion, and we saw her crying after finishing fourth in the 100 meters she goes into this final having run her season's best in the semi-final as well 21 96. so all of the ladies here are running extremely fast the challenge is uh, or the only one who is outside of this running fast at this world championship is abby steiner she came into this world championship with 21 77 as her season's best she qualified as one of the slowest runner finished second to shelly and fraser price 22 15 and she looked very tired she couldn't respond to shelly early pace and she finished second 22 15 but the leader pretty sharika jackson jacko jackson 21 67 to qualify for the final and she jogged half of the journey she has always promised she's been promising us something special from the trial she did 21 55 and she said you want to make only a mistake i mean coach i gotta go back to the drawing board and fix that and we we're wondering 21 55 with mistake can turn out to be corrected can it turn out to be what 1926 <laughs> but Looking at this lineup, Shelly and Fraser Price running out of lane six. It, it, this is going to be an extremely exciting and fast 200 meters final. Yes, Kurt. Um, if you look at the the top, what top ten or top twelve times, the top ten times 
uh, for the 200 meter females currently, you see that seven of the athletes in this race are in the top 10, excluding Mojinga Kambunji. So this is possibly one of the best 200 meter lineups with some of the fastest ladies we have ever seen. The quality is there, the speed is there, the endurance is there. And so I'm this this is what a cracker of a race. This should be the last race of the night. Because after this race, I don't think anything else can really compete with what will be will be displayed, you know, um by the ladies in this race. And I mean Shelly and Fraser Prize running her season's best 2182. And she looked very comfortable. So we're also expecting her to go personal best in this, the final. And you can just imagine if the three Jamaicans go personal best in this final, then definitely, definitely this old, old record of 2134 should be no more. That, um, that's, that's a stretch still because 2134. You know, it's, a, it's really a, 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 you could say it's a fire cry from 21.5. It's a good little distance. But, you know, you're, if, if the ladies run their personal best, then we'll have a sweep. But I, I, I won't agree with the record. You know, that is really a stretch. <laughs> All right. So you now have no faith in, a, in, a, in a the runners. <laughs> but certainly the twenty-one sixty-three by Daphne Schiffer's the, the game, the championship record will definitely go in this race. And just to think about putting she um, Sherika's 2167 in perspective, that 2167 puts Sherika on the all-time 200 meters time at number seven. And just imagine 500 years of 200 meter running, Sherika 2167 <laughs> at a cruise. She's at seventh on earth 2155. She's the third fastest over 200 meters in history. Okay. Yeah. And and um, she said in an interview that she made mistakes in this race running 21.67. So she's going to go back with her talk with her and talk with her coach and then make the, the corrections and come back in the finals and put on a show. So you were on. 21.67, right? As you said, the seventh fastest time, and you made a mistake. Imagine if you would go in a race and don't make a mistake. She's going to, you know, she's going to do very well. I'm looking forward to seeing what this excellent athlete can do. Uh, so in, in talking about Sherika, and she'll be running out of lane number four, Dina Asher Smith to her left and Tamara Clark to her right. Shelly and Fraser Price further out in six. What Cherika need to do? Uh, should I say to win or to break that record? Or to run her first and best? <laughs> Cherika just need to run. Like Straight she through the to. line, right? Just need to run. That, that's all she need to do. Just run because she has the strength. She has the speed. As long as Cherika gets up and run, none of these ladies can catch her. Right, and the um, off the off the curve though, she might have to pass a Shelly or an Elaine off the curve, but once she get down the street, all she has to do is run and take it home. And I, and I suppose the same thing goes for Shelly in for, for Shelly to win this race, she has to go first run her personal best, right, and, right, and 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 put herself in that top four. 200 meters time or something close to 21.5. Yes, that's right. Shelly Shelley has to, you know, um, run the last uh, the last 200 she did, which was in the World Championships. They said she ran um, 11 seconds in the first 100 in her first split and then 10.67 down the home stretch. In order for her to lower that, she'll have to run about a 10-7 in the first 100 and then allow her momentum to carry her and what the strength that she has left. If she can run a 10-7 in the, in the first split, 
and a 10-5 in the second, she'll be able to do wonders. She'll be definitely run her personal base and probably go 21-5. And, and talking about Shelly, she's the last winner, Jamaican winner of a gold medal over this event. So when we're talking about Shelly, let us not just talk about Shelly as a 100 meters runner, but right. she's the only Jamaican in this field who have a gold medal. And the only other person in this field who have a gold medal is Dina Asha Smith. We can't write her off because we Never. see, oh, she, she's been running well over the 100 meters run, a national record in the 100 meters. And now season's best breaking the 22 um, seconds barrier for the first time this year. And I think probably for the first time since last year. So we can't write off Dina Asha Smith, but watching the fastest woman alive over 200 meters ran in the semi-finals, Elaine Thompson era. A lot of persons were saying that she had a, she judged the race poorly. She never saw the Americans come in. And um, that's the reason why she finished third. But in finishing third, she was pretty much on a bubble and had to wait for an extended period to find out whether or not she made the final. She eventually did because of her time of 2197. But what Elaine need to do to get on that podium? We know Elaine is a quality athlete, right? All Elaine need to do is just run. <laughs> we know Elaine is very fast. She's a 21.5 athlete, right? Even if you're not in the, the optimum form, as a 21-5 athlete, you should be able to run 21-7. In this final, a 21-7 should be able to get you a silver or a bronze. Right? Given that Jacko is consistently running 20, 21-5, 21-6. So I believe that if Ilian can do a 21-7, she should be able to take it home. Otherwise, not take it home, but get the bronze or a, or a silver. Otherwise, she won't make that. And Saini or Abistina is going to kick her foot. And as you talk about Abistina, we saw her running in the Probably East and the semifinals of the 200 meters. And we're not seeing that form being replicated from the NCAA championship. And I, I, I want to know what has happened to, to Abby because I saw where Shelly ran out of the, the, um, the first 100 meters, put a little pressure. And she couldn't respond and normally uh, I, see, I see her respond to, to things like this over 200 meters. 2177 is not an easy time to run. So definitely she has some talent. But what has happened? I'll be around 2177 at the peak of the NCAAs. Right? She basically peaked. No, she, she ran 2177 um, in the finals of her of their um, the American trials. I believe that she has peaked and hence we see her struggling. The same thing happened to Gabby Thomas last year. Gabby ran 21 6 1 at the American um, finals for the Olympics. And when she went to the Olympics, Gabby just fizzed out because them both, NCAA, tired them out, worked <laughs> them. So right now, she has nothing left in the tank. Right? And as much as we know that she is fast, I don't believe she will be able to. To, to, to be in contention with any medals given the, the, the quality field that we have. As well as the lane that she's in. So she'll be running blind for the entire entire um, race. Well, probably not because Sherika will be way out front by the first 100 <laughs> joke. But uh, looking at the lineup, I'm, I'm thinking one, two, three, right? Um, another sweep. What what who you think are gonna be in at the top three? And who are gonna come dead last? <laughs> 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 All right. So dead last is between um Abby Steiner and Mujinga Kambunji. <laughs> Wait, don't stone me. <laughs> oh um one Sherika Jackson, two Shelley. Three, a toss up between Ilian and Dina. 
probably Tamara in the mix also. Between Ilya and Dina and Tamara, we'll be battling for, for third place. But if we haven't mentioned anything about um, Saini, and I'll leave it there. <laughs> Not yes. going to be the mix. I'll, I'll leave it. I leave. I leave it there. But Sini is strong. She, she has a very strong <laughs> initiative. You know, so they if they don't watch themselves, powerful. They have a very, very powerful finish. So you, you definitely cannot be running and easing at the line with with Sini chasing you, or else right. it's all look, over. She has the look and feel when running like um, Christine and Boma. Yeah, and, and every time I see her on her, she reminds me of her. But fans out there, let us hear from you. What's your thoughts on the lineup? Who you think are gonna win? What time the Magaron? Yeah, it, tell who are gonna win and the time of the Magaron. Who are gonna come second and the time of the, Mar the Magaron? Third and the time and who are gonna come dead last? Leave all those comments in the comment section below and always remember to like, to share, and to subscribe. And to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell all of them friends to come and join the Sports DTM family. Ricky and I signing out. Be blessed.